Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's your host, the star of the Joker's Wild, Brandon Martin. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Joker's Wild right here on my channel. We're about seven more episodes to wait till we end season one before we go into the Tournament of Champions. We had already got the top eight in there already, including one certain person on there. And the other person can get on that leaderboard Tournament of Champions. So, we meet the, the, the challengers for this game, though. Unfortunately... Our current champion, Nels, is not here at the moment, so he currently has a total of $116,911 in cash and prizes here in the next episode. We're going to crown ourselves a new interim champion in this episode, so Brandon, let's go ahead and introduce the two challengers to fight off to become the new interim champion. All right, our first contestant, Mr. Luke Jeffers, his opponent, Mr. Christopher Hammer. Speaking to you from Megan Elge from me at some episodes as we speak, but uh, it's time for the Joker's Fall, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, that is right indeed, though, Luke. Welcome back yet again. I mean, for this, your the question I'm going to ask you is: Are you good, are you going to be prepared for yourself going into your second appearance as for your first appearance, Luke? Yes, I'm gonna be ready. Oh, that that's good. Good. Well, best of luck to Luke. Best of luck to you, Luke and Chris. Welcome back into the Joker's Wild. Hello. Wow, well, since we have you on there, since you became the champion on this, out over I would say, over nearly over over one hundred ninety-six thousand dollars worth of cash and prizes, you won that double Joker's jackpot. The season, are you are you gonna do the same thing throughout this for this episode? We'll have to see what happens. Oh well, well, best of luck to you, Chris, and a best of luck to everybody here on this program. So then, let's go ahead and show our first six categories of today's game, and they are the following: Book animals, or like nostalgia, one of a kind. And finally, deal with some kids' grab bag. Since you're in the challenger spot, you can go ahead and spin. Spoon? Here we go. We got board games, one of a kind, and kids' grab bag. I'll choose board games for 500 Board games for $500. Your question under board games, Luke. All right, Luke, in what game would you find a knight and a bishop? What game would you find a knight and a bishop? I'll give you a multiple choice on this one. Is it A, chess, or C, trouble? I know what it is, chess. And you are correct, Luke. Yes! Scores now early 500 and nothing. Chris, it's your spin. Adam Oliver Twister. Anyway, spin. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got a Joker, board games, and a triple. Going all in. On for board games for two thousand dollars. All right, your question under board games. Second time in this category, and here it is. This is what we got. All right, Chris. In which game would you buy deals? Again, in which game sell deals? Is it A, Payday, B, or C, Categories? I don't think it's Payday. Um, would, that hap would that happen to be Monopoly? Oh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Ouchie. It's oh. A. That is the correct one. Good job, Luke. Yeah. Why did I hesitate? Oh, well. That's all right. Scores now a big 2,500 to nothing. Luke is your spin. Spoon? Here we go. We got good trivia, kids' grab bag, and nostalgia. I'll just choose um 
Food trivia for five hundred. All right, food trivia for five hundred dollars. First time in that category. Your question under food trivia. All right, here we go. <clears throat> President Reagan's administration classified what school lunch food as a vegetable. Again, President Reagan's administration classified what school lunch food as a vegetable? B pizza or C fries, French fries? Um, is it ketchup? I don't know. Ketchup is correct. Yeah! Ketchup is made of tomatoes, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, that's still. Yeah. No. 3,000 to nothing, Chris, you need ketchup. All I ask is a triple. Go ahead, spin me. We go. We got Joe, Joker, and food trivia. Uh, food trivia, thousand. Food trivia for a thousand dollars. Second time in the category. Once again, your question under food trivia. All right, uh, Chris Portobello, pocket of what food item? Oh. Of what food item? Potatoes and or sea mushrooms. I don't think they're a type of potatoes. They could be wine or mushroom. I'll say wine. Oh, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. <clears throat> well look pick up the as the more you know this answer. I think it's either A or C. I don't know. Which one? Uh, multiple choices again. Either A or C. Okay. Is it either A, potatoes, or C, mushrooms? Oh, oh yeah. Um, C, I don't know. Mushrooms? That is correct. Yeah! yeah. There's now 4,000 to nothing. Look at your spin. Food? There we go. Nostalgia, food trivia. Well, nostalgia for 1,000. All right. And Luke, if you get this question right under nostalgia, that's $5,000 for you. Not for you to win the game. Good question incorrect. And so you'll stay alive in this one. But however, you get this, like I said, you get this question right. Under nostalgia, five thousand dollars. Enough for you to win a game. Get one final spin. Your question under nostalgia. Okay. Which women woman helped the Allied war effort by identifying Nazi sympathizers in her native country? Again, which woman? Help the Allied war effort by identifying Nazi sympathizers in her native country. Is it A. Greta Garbo, Bergman, or C. Marlene Dietrich? I have no idea. I'll have to pass on this one. I'm sorry. All right. That's all right. We'll pass on that one. A couple thousand. You know this answer. If you mind repeating the question? Sure, I will do that, Chris. Which woman helped the Allied war identify Nazi sympathizers in her native country? Which woman helped the Allied war effort by identifying sympathizers in her native country? The multiple choice again for this, Chris, are A, Greta, Gar Greta Garbo, or C, Marlene Dietrich. I will take a wild guess and say, um, A? Greta Garbo? Maybe. Your wild guess paid off, Chris. Well done. I'm uh, still in it. Nice. Score is now 4,000 to 1,000. Chris, like I said before, you need to catch up. I ask it's a triple or all I ask is a triple. Spin it, please. Right, here we go, we got four games. Four games! Triple, though. 
Oh boy. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to go off the board for this one and say uh, grab bags for five hundred. Grab bag. All right. He can do that though. Kids grab bag for five hundred dollars. Your question under kids grab bag. All right. Here we go. All right, Chris. Which planet is closest to the sun? Again, which planet is closest to the sun? Is it A, Earth, B, Mercury, or C, Mars? Is it Earth? Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Oh. You know what it says? Mercury. Mercury is correct, Luke. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Now, 4,500 to 1,000. Luke, it's your spin. Spoon? There you go. Your spoon. Food trigger, food trigger, and a triple. Oh, man. Food all the way. Food. Kids grab bag for 500. All right, he could do that. It was still enough for you to win the game, though. And the last one. You get this question right under... That'll be five thousand dollars. Enough for you to win the game. However, Chris will get one final spin. This answer incorrectly. Chris has a chance to steal and get that right answer. He will stay alive once again. Mm -hmm. Your question under kids grab bag, Luke, is this. What city would you find the Eiffel Tower? Uh, what city would you find the Eiffel Tower? B. Paris or C. Washington? Uh, Washington. No, I'm sorry. Mm. That's incorrect. Okay. I think I have 500. You know this answer. I just think I should know this because the Eiffel Tower is somewhere. Uh, Paris? You are correct, Chris. I knew it. All right. Scores now 4,500 to 1,500. All right. Yes. Go ahead and spin. I need to catch up. Spin the thing. There you go. Come on. Come on. Nostalgia and board games. Ugh. Hmm. I'll try one of a kind for 500, please. All right. One of a kind for $500. Your question under one of a kind. Here we go. There we go. What is the only food that does not spoil? Again, what is the only food that does not spoil? Okay. Is it A, raisins, B, peanut butter, or C, honey? Uh, repeat the choices again. You're cutting out. Uh, sure, I will do that, Chris. Is it A, raisins, B, peanut butter, or C, honey? Well, peanut butter and honey I, are kept in a jar, so I don't think they would have spoiled, but I'm going to go with the possible elimination say raisin. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Really? Wow. Well, Luke, you get this question right. I am allergic to peanut butter. B. No, I'm sorry. That's also really? incorrect. Honey? Uh, yes. Answer on this one. I don't think about it. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We got four games, Nostalgia and a Joker. Oh, my. Four games for a thousand. All right. Well... Luke, you get this question right under board games. That's $5,500 this time. Enough for you to win the game. However, Chris will get one final spin on it. All right, your question under board games, Luke, is this. Okay, here we go. Suspect. Are there in the game of Clue? Suspects, are there in the game of Clue? Is it A, 9, B, 6, or C, 11? Um, 6? 
And Luke, you got fifty five hundred dollars. Yeah! All right, Chris, you need to get three jokers to do it. All right, well, Luke, if Luke, if you Luke, I wish you luck in the in the beat the devil because I'm not sure if I'm able to gonna get the the three jokers, but I can try. Spin it. Yeah. Oh. Well, Ted did it. And Luke is the new interim champion. <laughs> well done, Luke. Nicely Thank done. You. Welcome. Well, Luke, we're going to go ahead and talk to you in just a moment. Chris, unfortunately, just... It wasn't in your favor, unfortunately, Chris. But, however, did you have a great time, by the way? Yes, I did. Go get them. Go get that money, Luke. Yeah. Well, show that well, show that devil who's boss. Just say. Yep. <laughs> well, Chris will give you some consolation prizes as well. But as for you, Luke, that the we're gonna have a commercial break. We'll have that for you right after this. So stay right there. Oh my. It's up. All right, we welcome you back to the Joker's Wall, and Luke Jeffers is our brand new interim champion in this one. Yeah! Can he finally beat Lucy Dell? Let's go and bring down the girl and move on the board. Oh, boy! All right, Luke, there's some good prizes on there, including some Jokers. You hit one of those Jokers. Can spin on that. Same thing as before as your first one. You'll get a chance to play for a new car. So, okay. spoon. There we go. We got it. Good for you, Luke. You got one Joker worth ten thousand dollars plus a living room group plus a trip to Munich. Your current price package total. Is now up to twenty two thousand five hundred twenty nine dollars, and you earn a bonus spin. Good luck. Spoon. There we go. All right. All right. Good for you. So we got two jokers worth twenty thousand dollars plus a sixty five inch projection TV sound system. Package control is coming out up to $48,777 and you earn a shot for a new car. Uh, okay. Big lucky for you. Number one is my first win, by the way. All right. And behind number one is a new. All right. A Chevy HHRLS worth $17,854. Current price package total comes up to $66,631. That can be yours, but only if you beat Lucy the Devil. Okay. All right, Luke. There's some cash maps on the board between $250 to $2,000. Plus, there's some jokers on the way. Jokers, you will earn $1,000 because bonus. You keep that no matter what happens. However, if you are afraid of Lucy the Devil, you can stop at any time. You can stop at any time if you're afraid of it. But, however, up any of those spins, you'll lose the money. But if you have the money left for the Joker's bonus, you keep that no matter what happens. You get after the two spins, jackpot of $85,000. Okay. But, however, Luke, do spins over that Joker's jackpot up to one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Oh my! Yes. Match them out, like for example, two fifty, two fifty, two fifty. That'll be an automatic winner. You get that. So, look when you're ready, go ahead and spin. Spoon. Spoon. the Joker. I almost had it. Thousand dollars right now, Luke. Plus the, we got a Joker bonus of two thousand dollars. Do we stop the video? 
Just go. Good. There we go. Last chance to play for that chicken jack. Here we go. 500, 2,000, 500, 3,000 dollars right now. Press that jumping bonus. 2,000 dollars. Do we stop or go this time? Okay. Go. Good. Here we go. Regular jackpot. Here we go. 2,000. And then. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Six thousand dollars currently right now. Plus two more jokers, no two thousand. We'll double that jokers bonus up to four thousand dollars. So you may look. Do we stop or go? Go. Good. All right. Still playing for the regular jackpot. Five hundred. <laughs> That's two Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's sixty-five hundred dollars though, Luke. Plus two more jokers for that six thousand dollars in jokers bonus. Do I have a precision for you? Okay. Go. If that's a devil, I'm swear to God, it may not happen. Good. Here we go. Joker. I'm trying to do it. Oh my god. 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 Well done, Luke. Love thousand five hundred dollars to that. We add the prize package to it. Seventy-eight thousand one hundred thirty-one dollars. We add the Joker's bonus to that. Seven thousand one hundred thirty-one dollars, and we add the premium rings to that. That gives you a one-game cash and prize total ninety-two thousand six hundred thirty-one dollars. Oh my! Well done, Luke. Well. I'm down for this. We're going to take another commercial break and when we come back, we're going to go for the second game. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome you back to the Joker's Walk. After Luke successfully defeating Lucy the Devil, he currently has a total of of cash and prizes of $92,631. Well done there, Luke. Oh, boy! Well, in the second game, the winner of this one will get to face Nels in the next episode for... Oh, uh, good. So, without being... Before we go into that, let's go... And Bram's going to introduce our next challenger facing Luke. Our next challenger for Luke on this episode of The Choker's Wild, Pete Adam Oliver. All right, Adam, welcome in to The Joker's Wild. You know, on, on my Joker's Wild for the first time, though. All right, well, Adam, go ahead. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where, you, where you're from, and what you do for the YouTube audience. Okay, I am currently 33 years of age. I am a sporting goods sales associate in the apparel department. I am engaged, and I enjoy movies, game shows, and sports, as well as video games. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Well, best of luck to you, and the best of luck to everybody here on the second game. With that being said, let's go ahead and introduce the next six categories for the second game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. Trivia, followed by this or that. TV show, Rivers. And finally, we'll deal with some 60s our song map show. This time... Spot, you can go ahead and spin. There you go. 
home improvement and baseball trivia. All right, Adam, which category do you want? Oh, oh, wait, it's always open to me. Oh, I thought that was the challenger goes first. Yes, that's you, Adam. Okay. What's your category again? Adam, you were cutting instrument. out. Okay, let's go with instrument. Instruments for $500, your question under instruments. All right. All right, Adam. Black and white. How many keys are on a standard piano? Again, black and white. How many keys are on a standard piano? Is it A, 56, 2, or C, 88? Um, I'm going to say that it's 88. 88's correct. Scores now 500 to nothing. Look at your spin. Here we go. We got Mr. Rat, a Joker. Instruments uh, for a thousand. Instruments for one thousand dollars. Your question under instruments. All right, uh, Luke. Was the first modern acoustic guitar crafted? What year was the first modern acoustic guitar crafted? 1921, 4, or C, 1630? I don't know. 17 something ish? I don't know. 1764? No, I'm sorry, Luke. It's incorrect. All right, Adam, you can pick up a thousand more dollars. You know this answer. And what were the two remaining choices? All right. A, 1921, or C, 1630? I'm going to say that it is 1921. Oh, I'm sorry. That's also incorrect. Believe it or not, it was a little bit, it was actually early. It was actually 1630. Oh, wow. Yeah. Score remains 500 to nothing. Adam, your spin. Okay, spin it. Here we go. We got baseball trivia, home improvement, or that. Um, let's go with home improvement. All right, home improvement for five hundred dollars. Your question under home improvement. We are all about the TV show Home Home, home Improvement. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Hundred dollars. Tim Allen did the voice cartoon character again. Tim Allen did the voice of which cartoon character? Buzz Lightyear, Lightyear, B. Gaston, Gaston, or C. Simba? That is Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear is correct. Good job. Now, a thousand to nothing. Look at your spin. Boot! This or that, home improvement, and instruments. Oh, man. This or that for, for 500 This or that for $500. Your question under this or that. All right, here we go. All right, for $500, what is the next in the series? This one's. It's going to be in provinces of Canada in this one. What is the next in the series? We have Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Quebec. And which other one? Is That's, it... I'll give you the choices on this one. I haven't given you the choices yet, uh, Luke. Sorry, I didn't know. You're good, Luke. In the series... Of provinces of Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, and which other one? Is it A, New Brunswick, or C, Prince Edward Island? Oh, man. This is one of those choices. Uh, Quebec? 
no, that was not one of the choices, so I'll count that as the wrong answer. I'm sorry. Okay. So, Adam, you could pick up five or more dollars. You know this answer. Okay, and what were the three choices? Three choices are after it is A, New Brunswick, or C, Prince Edward Island. Um, I'm going to say New Brunswick. Brunswick is correct. <laughs> well done. Scores now 1500 and nothing. Adam, your spin. Okay, let's spin it. We've got home improvement instruments. Oh, my. Um, let's try home improvement for a thousand. Home improvement for one thousand dollars. A question under home improvement. A second time in the category. Here we go. What are the names of Tim and Jill's three sons? Again, what are the names of Tim and Jill's three sons? It's going to be a little bit of a long one, so pay attention to this one. Is it A, Randy, Brad, and Wilson, Brad, Randy, and Tim Jr., or C, Randy and Mark? Um, is it A? Randy, Brad, and Wilson? No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. All right, Luke, you can pick up a thousand. You know this answer. Uh, which one the B and C again? All right, the B and C. Okay, we have B, Brad, Randy, and Tim Jr. Or C, Brad, Randy, and Mark. It's a B? Brad, Randy, and Tim Jr., no, I'm sorry, that's also incorrect. Brad, Randy, and Mark. Oh. That, that was Tim and Joe's three sons. So, score remains 1,500 to nothing. Spoon? Yeah, home person. Joker. Home person for 1,000. I'm going to prove it for $1,000. Third time in the category. Under home improvement. All right. Who is Tim always trying to beat with his Christmas lights? Again, who is Tim always trying to beat with his Christmas lights? Is it A, Wilson, B, Al, or C, Doc Johnson? Is it Al? Oh, I'm sorry, it's not Al. You pick up a thousand more dollars, you know this answer. Um, is it C? Mark Johnson? Mark Johnson's, Doc Johnson's correct. <laughs> Cars now 2,500 to nothing. Adam's your spin. Okay, let's spin it. Here we go. We got hot. Rivers? Um, let's go with instruments for 500 it, This time, instruments for $500 is your question under instruments. Here we go. Your question under instruments is this. Mm-hmm. All right. Which of these instruments is not part of the flute flute family? Again, which of these instruments is not part of the flute family? A, bassoon, B, piccolo, or C, jug? Um, I know you meant the woodwind, so I'm going to say the jug. No, I'm Sorry, that's incorrect. And Luke, you can pick up 500. You know that's answer. Either A or B. Soon is the correct one. Yes! It's now 2,500 to 500. 
Spoon? Uh, this or that. Rivers. And home improvement. Home improvement for uh, 500 All right. Home improvement for $500. Your question under home improvement. Here we go. All right. Look, who does Tim always make fat jokes about? Who does Tim always make fat jokes about? Multiple choices on this one. Is it A, Chubby Checker, B, J a C, Jill, or D, Al's mother? Um, A. Chubby Checker, no, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. All right, Adam, you can pick up five hundred more dollars. You know this answer. Okay, what's the three choice? All right, we got that B, his wife, or D. Um, is it C, choice C? Uh, Jill? No, I'm sorry, that's also incorrect. Believe it or not, guys, it was actually Al's mother. Ooh. Yeah. Score is now still remains twenty five hundred to five hundred. Okay. Let's Here we go. Sixties <laughs> artist song matchup and river. Um let's go with rivers. Rivers for five hundred dollars. Your question to rivers there, uh Okay, here we go. The Volga outflows into the what? Again, the Volga outflows into the what? Is it A, Mediterranean Sea, or C, Caspian Sea? I'm going to say the Mediterranean Sea. No, I am sorry, Adam. It's incorrect. Pick up $500. You know this answer. Uh, which is the choice again? The Arctic Ocean or C. Caspian Sea? Oh, uh, A. You already, cho you already chose. Oh, B. Nope, it didn't matter. That was the wrong answer anyway. Believe it or not, it was Caspian Sea. Oh. That's the wrong answer, unfortunately. But score remains 2,500 to 500. Yeah. Spoon? This or that. And baseball trivia. Instruments. 500, all right. Instruments for $500. Your question under instruments. Okay, here we go. Your question under instruments is this, uh, Luke. Where did the harp originate? Again, where did the harp originate? Is it A, Peru, or C, Egypt? I know what this is. Uh, Egypt? Egypt is correct. Yeah! All right, score is now 2,500 to 1,000. Adam, it's your spin. All right, let's spin it. God, Joker, Joker, or that. Um, let's go this for that. This or that for two thousand. All right, this or that for going all the way for two thousand dollars. Your question under this or that. All right, your question under this or that. What was the name of the British flagship during the Falklands? And what was the name of the British flagship during the Falklands campaign? On this one, is it A, Intrepid, B, Investigator, or C, Invincible? Um, is it Investigator? Oh, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. 
you could pick them two more thousand dollars. You know this answer. Um, which are the choices? You have A, A Intrepid, or C, Invincible. Invincible. Invincible is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Is now 3,500. Good game going so far. And look at your spin. Good. Here we go now. We got matchup. Six yards. Saw matchup. Oh. And home of three. 60 mat yards matchup for the win. Uh, it's not there, but go for a thousand. Yeah. They're close, but you're not there yet. But. But anyway, 60 yards, 60 yards song matchup for $1,000. Your question under 60 yards song matchup. All right, this time, I'll give you a song talent. You got to Tim, that recording artist who, that song, who sang that song title. All right, Luke, born to be wild, born to be wild. Is it either A, The Animals, B, Credence, Clearwater Revival, or C, Steppenwolf? I know no, this is The animal. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Oh! Adam, you can pick up a thousand. You know this answer. The song Born to be One was sung by Stephen Wolf. And you are correct. All right, scores now. I'm in the lead right now over Luke, thirty-five hundred to three thousand. Spin. All right, let's spin it. Here we go now. We got uh, home improvement, sixty-star song matchup, and a joker. Um, let's go with sixties artist song matchup for a thousand. One thousand. All right, sixty dollars song matchup for one thousand dollars. Second time in the category. Your question under matchup. The song title for this one, Adam, is "Sweet Judy Blue Eyes." S Sweet Judy Blue Eyes. Recording artist who sang that song title is it either A. B. Chicago. Or C. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Um, can you repeat your word cutting? Sure, I will do that, that. The choices are A. A. Love and Spoonful, Chicago, or C. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Um, is it A. Love and Spoonful? Mm, no, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. All right. Do you know this answer? Um, which of our answers are peeing? All right, we have the main choices are for that look is B, Chicago, or C, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Um, is it C? Crosby, Stills, and Nash? Mm hmm. You are correct. Yes! Yeah! It was now 4,000 to 3,500. Luke, it's your spin. Good luck. We got Rivers, 60s are song matchup, and baseball trivia. You oh, oh, boy. Oh, man. 60s are song matchup for 500. All right. Matchup for $500 or question under 60s are song matchup. All right. This time, Luke, the song title is Hush. Again, the song title is Hush, according to ours. Is it A, Deep Purple, B, The Animals, or C, The Yardbirds? The Yardbirds? I don't know. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Adam, you can pick up five or more dollars. This answer. What were the two remaining choices? Yeah, A, Deep Purple, or B, The Animals. I'm going to take a guess and say the end. No, I'm sorry. That's also incorrect. Believe it or not, it was Deep Purple. Yeah. 
Well, scoring mates, 4,500. Pretty good game so far. And Adam, it's your spin. All right. Come on, give me something good. Spin it. You got the Joker. Joker! For that. Okay. Let's go. Let's go off the bar board for instruments for a thousand. He could do, do that though. Thousand dollars and question right under instruments. That'll be almost there to or just could be under forty. That's gonna be forty five hundred dollars right now. But however, you get this incorrect though. Correct. Your win game. That'll be. Oh my. All right. Your question under instruments. Uh. All right. Out of which of these instruments has the most strings? Which of these instruments has the most strings? Piano. B guitar or C contrabass? Specific. Um, um, is it a piano? Piano is correct. You got scores now forty five hundred to four thousand. Luke, it's your spin. Good luck. You got home improvement sixty dollars song matchup. At. Oh man. Oh my. Home improvement for five hundred. Home improvement for five hundred dollars. Your question under home improvement. Here we go. If you get this right, though, Luke, well, it, you will tie up the game. However, get that answer wrong. I will have a chance. To get the correct answer, he'll win the game and become the new interim champion. Oh, boy. All right, Luke. Home improvement for $500 is this. All right. Does the Taylors live on? What street does the Taylors live on? Shady Lane, B, Tool Street, or C, Glenwood Road? Oh my, um, A? Elaine? Yeah. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Ooh. Adam, if you get this right, the right answer on home permit, that's $5,000 game and become the new interim champion, if you know this answer. Is the remaining choices Tool Road and what was the last one? Actually, it's Tool Street. Oh, Tool Street and what else? Glenwood, Glenwood Road. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try Glenwood Road. Glenwood Road. Is the correct answer, and I'm going to do a new champion. Thank you. Wow, wow. Nicely job, Adam. That was a good game, though. Holy smokes. So that's $5,000 for you, Adam. We'll talk to you in just a moment. Actually... Just the way it goes here on the Joker's Wall. But did you, you have a great time, by the way? Yeah! I mean, it take that as a yes. But anyway, you're not leaving us empty handed, though. You're on the leaderboard this time. You're walking out of here. $2,631. And our congratulations and thanks for playing. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, Adam, we're going to. Uh, Beat the devil game for that one. And we're going to have one more commercial break for you guys right after this. Oh, boy. All right. All right, guys. We're walking back to Joker's Ball. We're, we're running out of time, unfortunately. But we're going to get into the 
full game. So we're going to bring out a prize roll already before we we back on the air. So Adam, if you're ready, go ahead and spin. All right, let's spin it. God. For you, Adam, you got a joker worth ten thousand dollars plus a trip to Acapulco group slash dinnerware. That is your current price package total up to twenty thousand two hundred forty-two dollars, and you earn a bonus spin. Good luck. All right, give me some jokers. Spin. In there, right in time. Good for you. Well, you got another joker worth another ten thousand dollars plus a. Hot top plus a spin. <laughs> your well, Adam Kirk price package total is now up to $43,232, and you're in chance to play for your car. Which number is lucky for you? Okay. Uh, it's either one, two, or three. Um, let's go with number one. All right, and behind number one is a new. Oh, very good car, though, Adam. A Chevy Malibu LS worth $32,683. Price package total comes up to $75,915. That can be yours, but only if you beat Lucy the Dove. Hey, Adam, same scenario as before I talked to Luke. It's on the board between $250 to $2,000. Plus, there's some jokers along the way. You hit one of them, you get $1,000 in jokers bonus. You keep that no matter what happens. Same time, if you're afraid of Lucy the Devil, and Lucy comes up out of nowhere during your spins, you lose that money. But if you have the remaining jokers bonus, of any money, you keep that no matter what happens. But with the same cash amount, we'll be an automatic winner for that one. After the two spins, you after the two spins, you earned yourself a Joker jackpot of ninety thousand dollars. First two spins, we'll double up that Joker jackpot up to one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Ready? Go ahead and spin. Alright, I love some jokers, no devils, and spinning. There we go, we got a thousand. Two thousand. Good, good start, though, Adam. Three thousand dollars right now. Plus, that joker was one thousand dollars in that joker's bonus. Can you stop the go this time? Okay, let's keep going. Alright, last chance for that double joker's jackpot. Here we go. Ah, damn it, Lucy. Oh. Ah, man. I'm very sorry about that, man. I can't give you the prize package to you, but you're in a Joker worth $1,000. We have the $1,000 plus that previous link to that. That's $6,000. Hey, that's all right, but you're on the leaderboard, by the way, though. I don't want to Did everybody have a good time, though? I have a great time. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. And if you like the joke as well, season one, episode 13, please go and give us a thumbs up and please like this video, leave a comment. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Now, it's not forget to tap that notification bell. Under my name, Brandon Martin, on YouTube app, so you'll never miss an upload or live stream. And don't forget to check out my playlist under the Joker's Wild Season 1 for all the episodes of fun and excitement on the, for this season. Uh, any episodes from the Joker's Wild? Hey, good to do that, guys. This is going to be winding down pretty soon as. I'm your host, Brad Martin. Thank, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And we'll see you all next time for another edition of The Joker's Wild. Bye-bye.
Brandon Scrugg speaking for the Joker's Wild, a Brandon Martin presentation in association with MVG Productions.